Hello everyone, in today's tech tip we are going to see how we can manually edit the webbings in the Trust Designer dialog page. We have a few envelopes here, I'm just going to select one and in MWF Advanced Metal uh, I can click on Create. We have already saved the presets here so the only thing that I need to do is click on OK and now we are in the Trust Designer page. We can have different views here. The first one, as you can see, is the model line view. The second one is the physical view, analysis view. And the last one is physical and analysis view. In the model line view, the lines represents the members and the nodes represents the connections. This is the default webbing that we have for these trusses, but if in any case we need to edit them, we just need to create more nodes. In order to create more nodes or copy the existing nodes, I just need to come here and select the first command on member point. Now I need to select the node that I'm going to copy. So we can select node 8 and where we want to copy this node 8 on. We want to copy node 8 on the bottom line, which is the bottom cord, which is from node 1 to node 2. So we are going to select the node here, select the line here, and 1 to 2 will show up here. 1 to 2. The next thing is to add the distance. We need to copy node 8, for example, with a distance of 1 foot 4 inches, which will be somehow in between node 8 and node 11. So I'm going to add 1, 4, and we are copying this horizontally. So we can just click on horizontal. Next thing, we can try copying node 8 on this vertical member. So again, we just need to click on node 8 and it will show up here. And then we just need to select the line. The line is between node 4 and node 8. And that's why it's showing up here. We need to copy node 8 with the distance of 2 feet on this member. So we can add 2 feet. And this time we are copying vertically. So we are going to click on vertical and we will have this new node here. And the last thing that we are going to try is to copy node 13 on this top chord member from node 4 to node 5. Again, we just need to select node 13. It will show up here and then we are going to select this line from node 4 to node 5. This time we want to copy node 13 exactly on top of node 13. So we are not going to move this horizontally. In that case, we just need to add 0 for the distance and click on horizontal. We will have node 15 exactly on top of node 13 with no distance, so zero distance horizontally. Now if I want to create a vertical line between node 13 and node 15, first I just need to delete this one here. And if I say left click, right click, there will be a new member. This member has been created as an oddball. In order to change it, we just need to double click and change it here to a vertical web and OK. If we want to do this again, we can come here to help. In shortcuts, we will see all the shortcuts that we have for changing the oddball member to any other type of members. So we can type in V to change selected line to vertical web or D to change selected line to a diagonal web. So if I hit OK and then I can delete the line from node 10 to node 8 and what we can do we can copy node 9 on the line between node 9 and node 10 with two feet distance vertically and then this time I can say left click right click between node 16 and node 14 and if I double click I can change this one to an attic and OK. So that was it for today, everyone, and thank you.